if you have a set of raw data and you want to determine how spread out that data is, a good way of doing that is through a box and whisker diagram or otherwise referred to as a box plot. And if you have the information of the lowest bit of data that is there, let's say that it's 2, and you also have the largest bit of data, let's say that's 100. The median you've already calculated, let's say that that's uh, 67. The upper quartile you've also calculated as being 80, and the lower quartile is 60. And with that data, you can then represent it visually by, first of all, drawing yourself a number line. Okay, so your number line is likely to be, or well, has to go from 2 to 100 at least. Okay, so here's 0, for example, and there's 100. So at its lowest point, we're at 2, so 2, and we would draw a vertical line. And at its largest point, we're at 100, and we would also draw a vertical line. Okay. And our lower quartile is at 60. So 60 is roughly about there. So we're going to draw another vertical line there. Median, that's at 67, so vertical line. And the upper quartile is 80, a little bit further along. Okay. And now what we can do is we can join this up, that into a box. And these are the whiskers. Okay, and so what we have is a way of visualizing how this data is spread out. Okay, now how do you interpret this? Well, this first part here, okay, this is the first 25% of the data. Okay, so the first 25% of the data is contained between the lowest point, 2 and the lower quartile, 60. So a quarter of the data is there. The next quarter of the data is between 60 and 67. So you can see that 25%, the same amount of data that was there, is now compacted between 60 and 67. And another 25% is compacted between the median and the upper quartile, in that bit there. And so the final quarter is within this whisker here, okay, between the upper quartile and the largest value. So that is how you can see the data spread out. And you can see that 50% of the data is between the lower quartile and upper quartile, squeezed between those two points. So it gives you a visual representation of how that data is spread out. Now, it's particularly effective if you have two sets of data and you want to compare them. So let's say I have a second set of data and we have a similar kind of numbers that we can see in the sense that the lowest is 2, again, the largest is also 100. But now what we find is that the median is instead, I don't know, 30. The lower quartile is 10, and the upper quartile is 60. Okay, so now what we would have is a lowest point at 2, okay, and we can draw this second box and whisker diagram on top of the first. The largest is at 100, exactly where that one was. We've got um, the median is this time at 30, so 30 is, I don't know, about there. The lower quartile is at 10, and the upper quartile is at 60. Now, I drew that as 67, so and that was 60, so they need to match up. Okay, so there's our middle bit, the box, and these are the whiskers. OK, so here is my first set of data. Here is my second bit of data. Now, how can I compare these? Well, one thing to notice is that on average, this set of data has lower scores than this set of data because you can clearly see that that box is lower than that one. OK, so further to the left. 
We can also see that by the median, okay? The fact that the medians, this median is lower than that one. And also, you can see that this data is more spread out in the sense that it has a larger middle 50%. Okay, remember that's 25, that's 25, as was that 25 and 25 there. So you can see that this box is larger, and so the data is more spread out as well. Okay, so if this was, if you were comparing two classes, so uh, class A and class B and how well they've done in an exam, although there were students that got two, and there was a student that got 100 in both of the classes, the majority of the students did better in class B than class A, because the median is larger, and there is less consistency in the sense that there is a smaller box for class B. Okay, they, were, they are less spread out. And so that is how we can work with box and whisker diagrams or box plots and compare them.